So I'm here at EGX 2016. Um, I've just had a chance to go on Normal Lost Firm. I'm here with Elizabeth from Accidental Queens. Um, do you want to just tell us a little bit about the game and where it came from? Uh, sure. It was a game made during the Global Game Jam 2016, which is an event where you try to make a game in 48 hours. So the idea of a Normal Lost Phone is that you've just found a phone and you can read all the messages and look into the gallery, the calendar, and try to understand what happened to the owner of the phone. So it's a mystery game or a stocking game, depending on your point of view. So where did the, the idea come from for you personally? Because it seems like there's a lot of personal stories. Is it, is it, is it autobiographical at all? Or uh, that? It's not autobiographical. It's mostly inspired by stories of lots of different friends. Mm -hmm. but many different put stories put together yeah. and not only from one people. Yeah. I think there's something quite natural about even like when a friend leaves the phone unlocked on a sofa or something and it's it's quite bad but you immediately want to look at it and see what's yeah, like. Yeah I never messages. did that before. Yeah. Never. Well I'm um, just a terrible person but <laughs> is that something that you feel like people are, are latching on to straight away that people immediately understand is right I've got this phone let's have a look through it. Yeah that's exactly what we, want, we wanted to do we want people to like believe it could be a real phone in a way. For example, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no reference to any country, any street or anything sure. from the real world in the game. So everybody who yeah. plays the game can imagine that he mm. just found it uh, near their home. Yeah. I, th I feel like as well there's a kind of treasure hunt element to it in the fact that you'll go through the messages and uh, what, what I think is quite smart is that the messages, it's like she got a new phone for her birthday, so there's not too much stuff on there, but Every now and then you'll see like five sets of messages in a row that are like, oh, new phone and that kind of stuff. And then you'll see one where a, a full conversation happens. It's like, oh, great, look at this. And is that, is that the way you wanted it to feel for people? Like, we've, I've just discovered something. Yeah, that was exactly the purpose of it. Uh, actually, just before we made the game, I had played to my first uh, live escape room. Mm. And um, I really had a lot of hopes about live escape rooms and I was so uh, excited to play it but the one I tried was really bad okay. uh, like there were lots of riddles and um, not really good story like okay why does a clue here there's no reason why there would be a clue and uh, I would have imagined that in live escape rooms and there are such live escape rooms as well you have to understand uh, the psychology of the people who uh, locked you and that's why I, we try to do in a normal lost phone. Is the idea is that you don't have to find a clue in a place. You have to think like the owner of the phone. You have to put yourself in their shoes in order to find out what happened. I'm guessing how, mu how much of the game is on show at the moment? Is this, is this like just 10% of it or is it...? Uh, I would say maybe one third. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the version we made for the Global Game Jam. Yeah. Uh, which was in the end of January and we've been working on the game since to add more content, uh, new puzzles, new apps, uh, more story and uh, also some music because there's going to be a music app and we have a, a complete um, new soundtrack made of artists uh, and that will be the soundtrack that the yeah. owner of the phone is listening to. That's really cool, yeah. And, and, and I think that all adds to the idea that it belongs to someone and you're really getting an insight into their life i mean even their choice of apps but as the game moves on you get into more of the apps because a lot of the apps are locked off by passwords um is that and then really adding that depth to it is, is the the you know the lgbt theme you feel like you're you're part of a in part of a person's life where they're going through a particularly tough time um, is that something that you wanted to do and really capture a story that's relatable and very modern and, and uh, we wanted to do something relatable and also show that um, our lives of LGBT people are not so mm. different from our yeah. lives of straight people and uh, what we love about this game is all these people who play this game and no, have no idea about mm -hmm. what the team is and still get inside and um, it opened their eyes a little bit about this topic. I mean straight away when I started it the character's called Sam I don't know Be why. Be careful of spoilers. Oh, okay but I made an assumption early on that turned out to be completely different to the actual truth. Yeah. Is that something that you, again, everything, is everything really designed deliberately yeah. to make you think a certain way or make a person think something that then may or may not be true? Yeah, uh, I would suggest if you finish the game to, for example, read again the conversation with Alice, yeah. uh, that would like yeah. blow your mind that we yeah. again. Well, I'm really excited to play more of it and, and we'll keep in contact so that we can do more stuff moving forward. But, uh, 
when can we when can we maybe hope to see it? Uh, hopefully January. Oh, January, cool, perfect. Hopefully. <laughs> and they'll be it'll be on mobile and on PC as well. Yeah. Because right? um, the mobile build looks great as well. Like. Yeah, the mobile version is working and it's cool, and it's gonna be in uh, many languages as well, which is perfect. cool. All right, brilliant. Thanks for seeing us anyway. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'm here at EGX 2016, I've just had a cut to have it up. I'm here at EGX 2016. Oh. <laughs> it's the name of the game that we're about to do, I think. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016, that sounded really weird. Like <laughs> uh, Mitch. Mitch. <laughs>